This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Please touch that like button, touch that subscribe button, and I hope you guys had a great day. Hit that bell so you can stay in tune with what's going on in the news. Well, we got Soldier Boy is back. He hit the Breakfast Club, and you know what? I gotta say, he looks completely sober, and that is a good thing. He seems like a totally, he's a totally different person when he gets clean, and he seems sharper than ever. Soldier Boy is a very smart kid. He's not a kid. He's been smart since he was a kid. Wanted to say that he's an adult. Uh, he's a very smart guy. Okay, and. Uh, he's probably the sharpest when he's not under the influence. Uh, he got a little out of control there for a few years. I know some people that, you know, hung around him and worked with him a lot. Uh, yeah, I knew him a little bit back in 2010, just a little bit. But uh, he was heavy on, you know, a lot of stuff that kind of clouded his mind. He seems sharper than ever now. And I got to say, uh, I'm very happy for him because... He seems totally back to being clean soldier boy again. It seems like he got really lost there from the Gucci Man days on. And uh, it got worse and worse and worse and worse until last year. It got so bad he went away for a while. But he seems good now, man. You know, so uh, anyways, there's nothing really to talk about with it. He just has no problems with Drake. He cleared up he has no problems with anybody. He's out here just trying to give his fans the best him he can be. And that's great. And he's really looking to move into acting. Maybe 50 Cent will give him a role somewhere because I know that they are friends. Um, then we got Charlemagne is in his feelings because Biden turned down a Breakfast Club interview. So what? Jeez, not everybody has to go up there. Uh, Joe Biden's camp reportedly won't allow him to visit the Breakfast Club. Uh, I wonder what was well, probably because Joe Biden isn't the sharpest right now. Uh, he makes a lot of missteps in um, everything, you know. And you know, they they had a lot. All the candidates that went up there aren't in the race anymore, so it's probably not a good place to go. Uh, even Hillary it didn't work for Hillary Clinton last year. Why would you go up there? Uh, the last time Hillary Clinton went up there, uh, what, 2015? It actually didn't really help her campaign at all. So why would you go up there? Uh, he said, it's kind of whack. All the other candidates went on themselves. And you sent, uh, you want to send a surrogate. Uh, who do you think you are? Well, he's probably someone that doesn't want to lose the election because he went on the breakfast club. And you know what? It's like you guys are going to ask him questions that he's probably not prepared for and everything. And. I don't know. It's just there's nothing wrong with turning down an interview. You, that, that's when you're too much on your own. D. Anyways, let's get to the next uh, one, and let's talk about Charlemagne. Also, single-handedly has destroyed the Breakfast Club by backstabbing uh, Angela E. Anyways, Lori Harvey, the beautiful Lori Harvey, uh, might be marrying future. People said she's out here just having fun, but she looks like she married Future. That's a little crazy. Why would you marry Future? But if she did, I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little weird. She is a beautiful girl, but uh, y'all would have to pick me up off the floor from laughter if Lori married Future. It's only 10 a.m. and the internet found out Lori and Future married. <sighs> Lori and Future really married? This app is going to collapse. <laughs> I wonder if they really are married. Uh, anyways, what do you get if you get married? If you're if you're one of his girls, you get an AP. But what if you get to get married? I think you get a house because I think she he bought her a house. This is Jordan Tower with JT News, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.